One summer day, Mumu and Papa caught a nasty cold. Papa, I brought us some hot milk for you. How do you feel now? Oh, not well at all. At least your temperature has gone down to normal. Now that's good. Now sit up and drink this milk before it gets cold. I'll do my best. <coughs> Mama, during the time that I've been ill in bed, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Oh? Oh, and what has he been thinking about? Well, what if I was not here anymore? Then you and Moomin would know nothing about all the wild adventures of my youth. All those things that happened to me long ago. But I thought that the memoirs that you were writing were all about that. No, no. They only start from when I met you. What happened to me before? Well, I'm the only one left who knows that. Well, why didn't you start at the beginning? I thought one always did that with memoirs. But it was very sweet and thoughtful for you to start with me. I had my reasons. My youth was pretty wild and stormy, you know. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh my, I thought I filed that restraining order. Or dear Moomin Papa's on his deathbed. God. He said, if you came to him once, he'd bequeath his entire estate to you. Run along now. Yeah, I'll come and see what the old man has to say now. Hello, dear Snufkin. Hi, little Mai. How was Moon and Papa today? He has mere hours to live. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Seems quite displeased with your ugliness, Snufkin. Oh, well, fair. And do hurry now. I've just seen little Mai. She said you wanted to give me a present. It's very capitalistic of you, Moon and Papa. And she told me you were very angry with me. But all I said is that you should just ask him over, little Mai. You fools. It was a trap all along. Well, you all know Moomin Papa. When he's ill, he's very, very ill. Stay that way! Anyway, he thinks it's time that he's told you about his stormy youth. When I was your age, I used to look exactly like you. And oddly enough, I used to have two friends who looked very much like Snuff and Sniff. Well, almost like them. So did you like me anyone who looked like me when you were younger? Well, yes, I did. She was very beautiful. And now I'd like to tell you the story of my life before I met Moom and Mama. Long ago, I was found on a stormy and dismal August by the steps outside a lonely orphanage. A lady who looked quite like Filionk, actually. Ayo, hey, bruh, some of their Zam Earth friendly recyclables on our door. Oh, Zam, is that a fetus? I was that child. Don't want to be number 13, that's unlucky! Right, you have like no choice. There are like 12 other fetuses before you. But, but like Friday the 13th, you know, like 13th is an unlucky number. Oh! Did you wet the bed again? Now oh, the whole room smells like pee pee. Can't make your job too easy! Twice as much trouble as my ex-wife, bro. Like, Zam. You know this isn't even a legally run orphanage. You just keep a bunch of kids in the woods. Life is unfair. Thirteen reasons why. Very, very good. So when you greet me, raise your tails at four twenty degrees. It's very easy. Number thirteen. This is an angle. Of uh, 69 degrees? <gasps> if I say 420 degrees, I mean four, 420 degrees. Behave like all the other fetuses in this place. For some reason, the principal of the orphanage positively hated being asked any questions. Great tasks await! Dear Principal of the Orphanage, I hope you don't mind, but I took your social security card so I could have a legal identity. Maybe I can run away if I close my eyes. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! I wonder who made this leaf thing? Looks like a dumb water wheel. I'm Moomin! That's what I was called, you see, before you came along. Yes. Wow, that's bigger than you! I can't believe you built a real boat! That's so slay! And since I like it so much, I might as well be captain! Well now, where could that fun I've got to? I asked him to paint the ship while I was away, but I think he's gone into like a reverse pocket dimension again. Oh, idiot! Idiot! Oh, oh, did you just kill somebody? Moomin, this is Fudder. That's not his blood. Most people smoke pot, not wear it. Oh, I was looking everywhere for the blood. I, I mean, a red paint. We certainly won't kidnap you. That, that's our least favorite thing to do. Red paint. Yeah. Well, don't worry, I'll say it as, as fast as I can. This is the bridge on spot. I hope you have a pair of deck shoes. What is that cat guy? Ah, that's just Duckster. Duckster on spot. I know you're allergic to the law, but didn't you see the no admitting sign? She's called the Ocean Orchestra. Potchkins. Oh my booball. You know I'm not literate. So, what did you name this boat? I thought of names like George the Third or Fang, but those were too pretentious. Are you kidding me? That's a dumb name. I would name it the Death Star. So, Podgkins, how do you plan to move this boat? Oh, oh, shoot, we forgot about that, um, could be difficult getting this friggin' thing on the water, I don't know. I think I'll ask Edward the Boobal for help. He's probably taking his usual nap down over. Anyway, he's so enormous you couldn't possibly miss him. Is he bigger than the Death Star? No, not really, but you want to be very careful he doesn't stop any by mistake. Because he's so big. What? Oh yes, old spot, but don't worry, he always pays for the funeral. What's a funeral? Oh, Eduardo, where have you got to? Are you there? It's me, Fredrickson, I want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, okay, he's he's there. I want to ask you a favour, old spot, listen to me. How do you feel about just casually falling into the river for no reason at all? And get away, but in the hatches, whatever you're supposed to do on a boat compass, I have no idea. We made it on sports, a very successful launch. Wait, Roger, would you mind moving out of the way? Don't move an adventure, please. Oh, possum. Someone else is waking me up from my cat nap. That's Fiddler down there. What's he been up to this time? Mueller, why the fluff are you in my fancy feet? Don't get it wet. There are 12 three friggin' jerks. This is like the second time they've friggin' done this. Hang on to this then. Yay, we, we, we did it. <laughs> Oh, my boobles, we made it. I think that's where we're celebrating, I don't know, bloody. I spy with me a little eye, someone in a precarious situation. It's the Groke. What's a Groke? She's the winter monster. Looks to me like she's chasing someone. Makes you into a nice puppy, of course, and she, she, she sells them on the beach, you know, in the summers. Oh, that's boring. Why doesn't she eat them or something? Oh! I'm moving my off to you. Don't ask dumb questions! I'm an orphan! And I'm gonna become Batman! Don't worry, if this pops on you that good, I promise. Hang on! I'm on my way to rescue you! Jump into this kid quickly! Thank you, an idiot, Moomin. Put it down. That was my third adventure, 
and the first of many rescues that filled my days with never-ending excitement. Please, dear Moomin Papa, do tell us of this damsel. Whatever happened next? Huh? You may well ask, but that, my friends, is another story. Another story? Yeah, like, can't I hear it? Also, like, could you tell us who it was? The principal of the orphanage seemed she was out looking for me. She was very angry I'd run away. What? Oh, it's you, Fred. Thirteen. Oh, it's you! If I knew it was my principal, I wouldn't have stopped to save her! Oh, be quiet. No. Nobody asks you. What are these people? Are they, like, the police? These guys are all my friends! I'll take them under my wing and teach them things. This is a catastrophe for real. I'm getting a meow team to block this out. They take me away from you, please. They have, they have to learn, you know, how to, how to, how to be. Now I can skip that bit on another note. Like, why am I not color changing in this? Like, in the books, I color changed. Too bad you didn't know it was her. You wouldn't have saved her. I dare say I would have had to rescue her anyway. And then I guess I would have felt silly. You just can't win, can you? Papa! What a terrible childhood. Oh no, cheer up, Moom and Mama. The orphanage wasn't that terrible. It was just dull. Yes, the next part of my youth was really exciting. But you'll have to wait until I'm better before I tell you that. Like any good storyteller, Moom and Papa knew when to make a break in his tale. So we must wait to find out what happened to the principal.